Muhammad Robinson and super lightweight bout against the Gene Johns. Muhammad Robinson is 6 0 with two KOs. The Gene Johns is 4 0 with four KOs. Uh, first to the podium is Muhammad Robinson, especially known as one of the Robinson uh, boys. Uh, my question to you, Muhammad, is you know, this is your first fight against an undefeated fighter. Um, do you feel any pressure going into this fight um, facing your first undefeated fighter? No, I don't really feel any pressure facing my first undefeated fighter. You know, I've been in this, this, you know, in this boxing league for a long time, just the amateurs. I mean, boxing since I was eight, I've always fought the best, so it ain't, ain't no pressure. As far as the preparation to this fight, um, was there any changes that you made when facing, you know, supposedly like your first step up? Uh, I definitely have been working on sitting down my punches more. Y'all definitely want to see a boy close to Muhammad coming, you know, this fight is coming up. I've I been, mean, I been doing, I mean, you know, I've been training hard for this fight. Y'all definitely want to see a new week. When you say sitting down on your punches, are you, are you expecting a knockout? Hey, I, I expect to go in there. Look, boxing is a hurting sport. It's a hurting sport. I'm always going to be looking for a stoppage. As far as the stoppages go, right? Um, a lot of times guys make mistakes. They come out and they go for the kill right away. Some guys maybe way too long. Well, what's your strategy going into this fight? I mean, I ain't going to waste nothing. I ain't going to waste nothing. But y'all want to see what I'm going to do with the 7th Is there anything he brings to the table that can make this a difficult fight? I said, is there anything he brings to the table that can make this a difficult fight? I mean, you know, if he, if he come in here, you know, on Friday, fight hard, fight his best. I mean, you know, it's all that going to make it a good fight. But compared to what I'm going to do, though, it's different. How does his best rate against your best? First off, we want to say uh, happy birthday to you. Uh, I appreciate it. Heard you just had a birthday just uh, not too long ago. Now, going into this fight, you know you're going against someone 4-0 or 4 knockouts. How much of a birthday present would this be if you go in and you be the first guy to not only put uh, take away his zero, but you stop him in the meantime? I mean, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a very good, like, you know, my birthday, you know, if I stop him, it's gonna be, you know, I give you celebration. But uh, yeah. Why this step up right now? Uh, because I'm, I'm really, I'm really trying to test myself. You know, I mean, I can't. I mean, step up fights really allows you to show who you really are in this boxing thing. You know, and, and it get to show you know the best of me. So I feel like it's gonna be a good fight. I mean, you know, good, you know, step up fight. When I'm trying my best, you know, come out, come out with myself. Okay, as fans, what will we find out about you September 15th? Uh, as fans, um, that yeah, I'm a very good top fighter. If y'all want to see, you know, off, I've been boxing since I was eight, like I said again, you know, you know, if y'all want to see me, just, you know, go in there and do my thing, and I'm going to Well, talking to you earlier in the week, I heard that you had a few changes uh, to your camp, to your team. How much of an influence is that going to be in your corner, knowing that you're getting training from a step up also uh, in your training, in your, in your uh, camp? That definitely going to help me throughout this fight because, you know, I've been training with some good people that knows a lot of good, good things, and especially having them in my corner is going to uh, – you know, make this fight even more, you know, easier for me to come up on top. All right, there's no more questions for Muhammad. We're gonna bring the Gene Johns. The Gene Johns, the record four double four KOs. Uh, about to put your undefeated record on the line here. Um, obviously four KOs in all your fights. Um, are we expecting another explosive knockout by you? on Friday night.
Yeah, sure, I'm gonna spark in my phone. Um, this kid, he didn't ask for his wife, I did. He hadn't seen no wife like me. He hadn't fought no wife like me. I mean, he's 6 and 0, the guy with record. But the people he was supposed to knock out, he couldn't knock them out. So he damn sure gonna knock you down. You 4-0 for four knockouts. Why haven't anybody been able to last all four rounds, all six rounds with you? Uh, you know, uh, that's the food in me. You know, when you put that pressure on them, you know, you take them to the trenches, they don't know what to do with that. Some of these people, they, they just talented. You know, I'm more than just talented. You know, I know what it takes. I'm really dedicated. I'm in the gym every single day. Even when my coach is trying to tell me to take time off, I don't know what to do. I don't play boxing. I don't play around with the sport. You know? So when I'm fighting, you know, the guys they can't take my power. They think because they're a little bigger, you know, they got the experience. They think they got a, a hand over me. But in all reality, once they get hit, you know, I hit night. What's going to change when he gets his? Uh, honestly, you know, I'm really. I'm looking past him. He's not going to stop me from where I'm trying to go. I'm not like those fighters. I'm not about to sit there and say, oh, I'm not looking past him. But we got the experience. No, I'm looking past him because he's not going to stop me from where I'm trying to go. And uh, he's going to see. I mean, his team, they've been talking for the last, like, two months on this line. You know, me and my team, we've been building the work. I don't got to go to the other gym. I don't got to go to the other trainer. If I help, we're going to put our work in. He gonna fool me, right? Now, you say you're going to take him to the trenches, right? Yes, sir. During the course of the fight, what happens if you feel like he's comfortable in the trenches? What's your plan B? Plan B? I don't think he's going to be comfortable because I've seen his fights. He, he never fought nobody ever who put pressure on him. He, he fight people, you know, that he'll throw a jack up, they'll get scared back up, all of them. I'm not doing none of that. Every time if I get touched, he gonna get hit ten times harder. Every time he touch me, he gonna get hit ten times harder. I'm really gonna bring it to him. They've been talking too much, so I hope they come with their bulletproof vest because this clock don't got no safety. Now you you have a real serious undertone, right? Do you feel like this is gonna be added motivation for him heading into the fight? Uh, I hope. You know, I hope he gets all the motivation he get. His daddy can't save him. I know it's been a lot of back and forth on social media. He said, she said. Growing up back in the day, we used to have a saying, don't let your alligator mouth overload your hummingbird ass. Now, let me ask you this, all right? Going into this fight, we do a lot of talking. When do you feel like enough's enough and you just say, hey, shut up, put the gloves on, let's go at it? No, I've been doing that for the past two for one. That just been done. I finally said something. And that's when I made my promotion video and I told him I'm gonna knock his ass out. I mean that. All right, there's no other questions. It's going down Friday night. Uh, this time we're gonna bring Marshall Hoffman, our CEO from Casey Bowles to the podium. Talk about the card.